Yeah, so my name is Dr. Gidenji Gitahi and I'm the group CEO for Amref Health Africa based in Nairobi, Kenya. It's where the headquarters is, but we work across Africa. Okay, thank you. And what has inspired you about the forum so far? So I've come to the second Childhood Pneumonia Forum and what has inspired me most so far is country participation and country presence and country leadership. It is very important that matters that have to do with citizenry's right to health are first and foremost led, governed, and supported and financed by their governments, by the national governments. So discussions like these that are international, when they don't have government in the core, they're just discussing evidence and theory. But when the governments are in there, they're discussing actual implementation and the practical solutions and challenges they face every day. That is what has inspired me most about the meeting so far. Yeah, great. And when you return home, what is one thing that is going to change as a result of the forum? So when I return home to Kenya, uh, where Amra Health Africa is working across the continent, the one thing that is going to change is the conversation around the contribution of women's education to child survival. That actually a mother who has gone to secondary level education is able to give their child a much higher survival because of better antenatal care services, because of better follow-up on immunization, because of better nutrition, because of better water and sanitation. And we have often not focused on women education and girl education as a health issue. But it is probably one of the biggest contributors to child survival beyond what the health sector is able to achieve in the country. So our own strategy has reflected on primary health care but the importance of social determinants of health. So listening at this forum, I'm going to pay more attention to how as an organization we can influence and work with government to ensure that education of women and girls is at the center of health development. Oh, that's fantastic, no? The, the women's situation yeah. and role. Thank you. And um, why child survival action is needed? Why is child survival action and urgency needed? Since 2000, the world has lost nearly 200 million children under five years. That is the population of an entire country. That's the population of Nigeria. That's more than the population of Bangladesh. That's half or half the US, a third of the EU. It means that the world is losing an entire generation by allowing children to continue to die of pneumonia, malaria, and diarrhea. And you also realize, for us in Africa, it is extremely important because it is also tied to socioeconomic development. It is first and foremost a human rights issue. Secondly, it's a moral and ethical issue, but it's also an issue of socioeconomic development. Because we know in Africa where the most acceleration is needed, we are also challenged by high fertility, where women have more children than they probably have planned. And the reason for this is because they are playing the lottery. That in case my children die, then I need to have an adequate number of children. Therefore, I'll have more in case some die. Child survival is related to fertility uh, reduction, to giving women the choice of how many children they will have, the ones they're able to take care of. But when children are dying as they are now, then women want to ensure survival of their offspring, and therefore they have more and more. This is why it is urgent that we provide the chance of survival for every child, not only as a human rights, as an issue of moral and ethical code of our being, but also as a socio-economic development issue for Africa.